Hello Aquarius and welcome into my channel Joy to the World and I am your reader Melissa Joy here to take a peek at what you say unto me. Start up around my mind and I'm like what is it Aquarius and you're like turn around. So maybe that's a message to you, friend. Would you like to turn your life around? Would you like to get in tune with this new energy which might have been flummoxed in you these past few months because now that Aquarius isn't having to go out and work so hard, transform lives and bring in the hope into the future, it's in the now. And it's like, well, what do I do now? And I'm like, that's the question. Look, beast spirit is showing up. Look at that juicy, divine deliciousness going on here. This has more to do with the belly, the openness part of ourself that is exposed to just pick up on all the energies coming about. You're talking about the potential for dreams to come in now. To come in now. And I'm like, you go, you're like, girl, take it from the now to the how. Okay, Aquarius, help me do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's call this in because that's what bee power is doing is calling in the hive, calling in the whole system and not that Saturnian karma crab. No, this new stuff that came out and in, he can just take a thump in the nose and move off because we are stepping into the self, bringing in the divine nature, bringing in the health because we know how much bees have been impacted, not just they love to push it off on the poisons and stuff that they're doing and the smoking that we do to them. Yes, that impacts their experience as to the genetics that they pass on to the next generation and you're talking about the next generation is actually just your next day how that can accrue and and diminish and weaken um, the structure of your dreams so they're wanting you to bring in this life energy now the wild thing about the bees is how much are you taking from your tomorrow today because that's really the undermining of because bees are incredibly resilient and healthy in their nature but we take their food source and give them our food source. There are beekeepers that practice taking all the honey from the bees and just giving them sugar water. It doesn't have all the nutrients and the life force that's in there. That's why they take out the pollen and they sell bee pollen and then they take out whatever that queen stuff is and then they sell that. Mm. Splash is a delight on this channel. And they put in the unnatural and that thing doesn't feed it doesn't nourish and then you have to go spend your money to buy supplements and and buy fortified this and do this and that and then go to the doctor and keep your health care and then all of a sudden we're trying to create a whole system that supports that artificial let's get into the genuine let's get into the true because that is the life force that bees wanting to come in here and that's why there are some delightful beekeepers who create um a top bar hive and it's these ones that before you had to pull it from the hive, but now they lay down like this so you can just take out the one portion that you need, which gives the bees plenty of time to keep living and growing and doing, and it actually can keep it quite healthy because everything begins to stay new and it takes out the, the most built comb, which would be the oldest comb, the most active comb. And they keep putting out more and more and more so it keeps the cycle of the bee fresh vibrant juicy delicious healthy you want to be fresh vibrant juicy delicious and healthy well let's see what's going on here then aquarius because apparently you are ready to talk and you're telling me you're ready to stop stop stalking i don't know who's stalking maybe looking out for um you know grabbing out, trying to figure out what the trend is, or um, it's using that spiritual gift that you have to try and predict what's coming so that you can go ahead and handle it. You know, or I know what they're saying about me. It's that getting ahead of the game, but remember the bee telling us that that takes, that sugar water is, is cheap. It's not in the moment. It's out of space and time, but you were having to do that in order to survive, right? Because when you got to fly out beyond Pluto and then come back, you're like, I got to keep up on a few things and be prepared. That stockpiling, that predicting, well, you don't have to do that anymore. That old nerve, that old oil, that old anointing, that old um, ship relationship, that you had is it's just setting sail it's drifting out and beyond and don't go chase it down there's more all around you there's a multitude of relationships around you this fresh new divine energy 
of what's happening in the now and what you lay your eyes upon in the now. It's going to feel a little odd to have that much freedom and time and you might feel like you're wasting time and not getting a lot done and so it might be hyper attentive, your energy still trying to grab and doing this and that and just be like, just breathe and go. I can relax and release and feel juicy and divine. What can I do with this free time that I have, with this, this ample time that I have without just filling it? Okay, and then just listen for the answer, whatever that is. But let's get into this. There's an, uh, there's, uh, yeah, bringing it back in, getting off the rock, trying to push out all the way into it to pick up the, the most. You see what I mean? They're talking about recentering, recalibrating into your center because all those were adaptations for survival to get through the way that you were operating in your life in the earthen era until plasma now arrived. And now for those of us who settle into this, plasma is going to be a storehouse, an origin point of creatorship, getting into the creation, getting into the things that do not exist, coming into existence, but you don't have to go and travel and earn and effort. It starts right here. And it starts with that ease. It starts with the joy, the juicy deliciousness of life. But look at that. That seashell is calling you home, calling you in. And there's no trick in this to steal your voice, to steal your time, to steal your energy. No, it is an offering. It is an offering of a new song, of a new message coming in. And that message is, uh, is going to be up for you to choose. Is it going to be the same old noise? Or is it going to be blessing, bringing you into union and relationship with? Relationship is simply an experiencing of something more di dynamic around you than just your one perspective. Whether it's a business or a child or a friend or a lover or nature, you see? Here, that nature call would really be standing up for you. But that's the four of cups, seeing what is right in front of you in plain sight. And beginning to see something humble or something unremarkable as beautiful. Because you ever thought about it? How do you get extraordinary? You take yourself, the extra, right? And merge with the ordinary. So now that you're not having to go out beyond that extra, it doesn't mean you sell extra. No, that was how you survived, was having to prepare, having to do all that in order to be able to sustain your own personal life while you were living your calling for the world. Okay, friend, is that resonating? Is that making sense there? Is that landing? And that's where your high heart starts to step in. This is the magic. This is when the wound is healed. The Chiron wound, the place between the seen and the unseen is a really good entrance point for you. So you could look at where Chiron is on your chart, maybe check out some readings from that and get familiar with that sound of the new energy and the buzz that the shell might be speaking to you because many of us this is going to be our point of liberation where we go from being stuck on the wheel the karma I don't care whether they say good or bad it's still limited it is still limited and it's required to be offered to me instead of me being able to initiate and to create two coming along together equally like your mate your partner that kind of a lover that kind of a relationship that kind of a business deal not a power differential does that get you excited Okay, we'll lean in because Chiron is where it's coming in. There is no more wound or wounder. There is no more abuse or abuser. Graduating from life university, from the working, from the excess, from the extra and affording it to yourself, putting it on the ordinary the everyday life and you start seeing the magic come about as it, as it, as it begins to happen and you're, you're initiating and willingly participating, inviting life in to do this. You're going to start recognizing, oh, I wonder, was that? Because of da-da-da. Oh, 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 wow, that was really refreshing. Mm, that, was, that was nice. It's kind of nice to just relax and realize, I got everything done. How did I get it all done without all that extra? Without all that pressure, that feeling, that stress? And that was, that was the stumbling point. That was the difficulty here. That's that thing trying to call, call, tell you, do this, do that, go this, go that. Look how peaceful and restful that is. Which eye is looking at you? Let your eye be your eye. No longer energies around you driving it hither and to here and about. No, 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 no. You got your eyes on something tasty. You got the balance here that life is here to afford you 
this beautiful experience. Look at this, this tree and this four of wands. Look at this power pack coming true, your dream coming true, rising to the top, gaining the fullness of the sunshine, the fullness of your expression, the vibrance. Look at it. Can you see the eye of the tiger? It's no longer the thrill of the fight though, rising up to the challenge of our rival. It's really rising up to thrive, moving past the thing that was driving you and getting into the peace, getting into the peace. What? this. Having tamed your angles, no more spinning about, moving about, and that wondering and that keeping it going and creating momentum. No, you can easily go to sleep at night knowing you're going to wake up with inspiration. It's no longer just momentum. You have inspiration. You have breath. You have this uncting, this desire calling you forth, calling you in, calling you out. As a matter of fact, it's so desirous that it desires you and life is coming to you and giving you suggestions, ideas, and letting you weigh them out. Do you, would you like this or like that? Do you want yellow or do you want purple? Is this what you're liking? Is this the type of person you're interested in? You'll be like, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. You start creating your preferences, that new relationship, that very fascinating dynamic relationship that you were having but the beauty about this it begins the spirals of life the horn of wisdom of realizing wait it's not like we had in school it's not k one two three four math english science no 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 it's life and life and living and experiencing and tasting and I'm telling you, it is coming in. It is coming in. It's bringing interest, delight, and desire with it. But no more the maniacal mind pressuring you, saying, well, you know what happens when you don't, or you know what happens when you do, and trying to keep you into doing what you don't want to do and not doing what you do want to do. Let me tell you, you get in that central energy. That's why they're wanting you to practice the extra on the ordinary is you're going to find powerful things happening. And you're going to realize you don't have to have that stress and that weight and that expanse and others up in yours. You get to have you inside of you. You get to have myself in the center of yourself, right? Now that's divine. Ooh. Ooh. And it pulls you out of those deep waters, of the flood waters, of that grief, that sorrow, that intimacy feeling unmet, unrequited that love. It comes into a breath of fresh air and fresh you are Aquarius. I'm so glad you shared this reading with me. Maybe share your thumbs up down there and click that like button or you could join this channel. It is free as always. And these are the messages we're bringing forward to bring life to you so that your life can begin to shine and your mouth be satisfied and your heart be alive. Okay. Leave me comments and compliments down below. Tell me you were here. Bye.